All right, guys. I'm going to make it my last video of the day. Uh, I gotta get, like I said, I'm starting back on school. I started my online class uh, last night. So, but next week I got all classes all week. So, um, last video of the day, you guys have seen USDJ4Y dropped uh, all the way back to 109.2. Gold is trying to hit 1291, 1292, and so the speech was bad. Uncertainty, very dovish from uh, Yellen. Not much going on for her. Uh, I got these two positions opening. You guys can see here. Uh, I'm gonna keep them open for the weekend. I'm expecting a, uh, a sell, a sell gap uh, for uh, UCJPY and a buy gap for gold. And so what I'm expecting is USDJ before opening going down and then uh, gold opening going up. And so I'll keep these positions open. Um, profit wise, they finally gave me my bonus. I had a live chat with them. So uh, not, not too crazy. 91.75 for today. And so like I said, uh, nothing crazy. 100 bucks a day, 200 bucks a day. I mean, I only put in, I put in about 196 uh, for a Bitcoin because it was, I put, I tried to put 200, but it didn't work out. But that's what I bought from Coinbase. Um, Draghi's speech is at 2 p.m. I don't really, Perceive much of a I don't really think because he, he affects more on the euro so I don't really know what to um, what to expect out of him because it's so far out it's, it's at 2 in the afternoon it's already almost 10 a.m. my time so like I said I'm keeping those two positions opening for the weekend on two cent lots and uh, I guess I'm just going to stick with Vim Pro and then uh, the crystal ball contest for Monday for LMFX, Monday morning. And so I'll be participating in that. Uh, as for the demo contest, I really don't know if I really want to pursue the demo contest. I'm thinking about going to live accounts, like I said in the beginning. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably open up the LMFX premium account again uh, sometime either, either either next week or or the following week so somewhere around there it depends on where I want to where I want to fall into but for sure uh, to have two live accounts up and running uh, the only thing is LMFX just doesn't accept Bitcoin and so we'll see uh, we'll see what I, we'll see where I go from there and so uh, I that I mean you guys already seen what's going on with USD, JPY, and gold. And so, I mean, before all that, I mean, at around 8, 8.30 was a huge spike. And then around 8, I think, 8, 8.05 or 8 o'clock was uh, another spike as well. And so, it's pretty... Um, <clears throat> It, it's very volatile today so like I said anything can happen to the markets and you don't you can't really trust the indicators on a day like this it's really hard and so you just gotta go you know you just gotta go with what what you see and I know it's kind of hard to anticipate but I didn't I, I knew that there wasn't much going on and plus USDJPY rised up in the morning as much as it could before any of any of these economic data releases and then the speeches so so i predicted to be a sell because there's because if you look at the price i have not seen ucj4 even broke 110 and so yeah it's cool i mean yeah it's cool they went up to 109.7 and 109.8 but has not gone back to 110 and so and on top of that, uh, you know, gold's been holding its weight. Gold's been holding that price at 12, 1280 and 1290. 
had I seen gold go below 1280, then yeah, I'd be selling it more. But it's just been it's been a, a mid range price, and uh, it's a lot. There's a lot of price actions going on, and so it's really hard to anticipate for a week like this. So the last video for the day, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I appreciate you guys following me, watching me what I do. Like I said, it's just a diary for me. Keep up to date with my experience, what I can improve on, and I hope that you guys are learning something. So other than that, that's all I got for you guys. Have a great weekend. I hope you guys are catching pips. And 2 p.m. drive you speaking.